Um, one of my favorite songs is the Monkey Song. It's kind of like the new, the new Matilda, the new Matilda the Gorilla. Uh, it goes like this. I'll play it for you. Can you see this? All right. How does it go? play that on the guitar. I've just started guitar. Don't worry. It's actually it's pretty simple. I'm going to show you how to play this sort of a G, which uh, has, it's a G with no third. All right. It's an old-fashioned G where you put these two fingers down and you put your fourth finger on that B string on the note D and you put your pinky down on the E string on the note G. I'll show you a picture of this, not to worry. My point in showing you this up close is that watch this one and this one. Watch these first two fingers. I'm going to make a sort of a C. It's like an alternative music C. See that? It's pretty. Now I can go back and forth between the G and the C. The G and the C. I can not only do that, I can go back and forth between a C and I'm going to move these two fingers, right? I'm going to move them closer to the floor set. So this is like an F and a C, an alternative F and my alternative C. And you add it together and you get the alternative F, move these two fingers closer to the ceiling, move them again closer to the ceiling. That's all there is to it, right? Start here, so you're playing this alternative f thing. Move them closer to the ceiling. Move them closer to the ceiling. There it is. Do it a third time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, ah, ah. Now watch, I'm going to take my G shape, this thing, and I'm going to just, I hope I've been taping this, take it up three frets. It's a sort of a B-flatty functioning thing. And take it down to the G. So here's my, here's my G with no third. I'm gonna take it up to this B-flat position. And down to G. There it is. And then I go back to this alternative f -y thing. C. And then, ah, a normal chord. A sustained to A, and then go to D and then back to G. That is the whole tricky part. I'll do it again. Do it again. Now I'm gonna take my G shape and I'm gonna bring it up ooh, a few frets. Go back to that little routine. Ooh, 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 ah, 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 nice chord. E, swinging in a tree. Bum, bum. That's about it. Only other thing I can tell you is that it has a fast E flat chord. You can either just play D up a notch and hopefully just hit the first, the top three strings, or play a G minor. Just play a G minor. There it is. You can play a shorthand G minor instead of this E flat chord. We'll all live. And instead of the B flat chord, you can play a D minor. And we'll get by. Now, there's not too much of a difference between the D minor and the B flat. Here's your B flat. Here's your D minor. All right, that's all there is to it. And that's how you play the song. One more time so you get it in your ears. I'll play it over here. Back it up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah.
you do it. It's not too tricky. Give it a try. You can find, this is a free song on my website under freebies, free mp3s or something like that. And the words and the chords are under the sing album in the lyrics pages. I have, I have some CDs and I have uh, lyrics. And it has lyrics, chords, and uses of the songs. So I hope this helped you out and gets you playing that song. It's a good, helpful one. Bye.